Are you guys still having a good time? Yes! Let me take a look at you. What an attractive bunch. I like that. That's Hi guys. Young Hi. peeps. Um, we, uh, we, um, lovely. We, the last few times that we've been in Calgary, we played the Jubilee, and we know that a lot of people really like that venue because you get to sit down. And I like venues where you get to sit down because I am so lazy. I'm like the fucking laziest person alive. I go to shows. Hey, there's small people. I know that there's some younger people here, but I have a feeling that if you are a parent and your children listen to Tegan and Sarah, this is not the first time they've heard the F word. So here we go. <laughs> Agreed, fair point. Yeah, fair point. I mean, let's, let's be honest. But so, um, anyways, I know that a lot of people don't like to stand up at a concert because I don't like to stand up at a concert. I hate standing up at concerts. I'm the person who's about halfway through the concert starts to think about what it will feel like to put sweats on and then like watch, <laughs> watch one of those shows where those abusive ladies yell at each other while drinking all the time. Um, otherwise known as the housewives of anything, any city. Anyways, I know my life seems very glamorous, sweatpants and wine and watching the housewives of LA or whatever, but um, the truth is that we just wanted to do something different, and so we really hand it to you all for standing up. Good yeah, for you. So good. Yeah, so good. Good for you for standing up, people. Um, this next song. Whenever, like recently, I had to go to the doctor because a couple weeks ago I, I, was, I had this bad sore throat, and we'd been traveling in Europe, and I had been ignoring it and pretending it wasn't happening. But I got back to Vancouver, and I decided to go to the doctor, and. Um, I was only in town for a few days, and so you can speak up a little bit. What, am, I, am I talking too quiet? A little bit. Okay. I was only home for two days, so... Is that better? Can you hear me? What's wrong? What? I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, I was only home a couple days, so I went to the, uh, to the clinic, and I invited my dad to come along because I had very small amount of time to hang out, and uh, I, w I got waited 45 minutes, and then when they brought me into the little room, I waited another half an hour, and when the doctor came in, he took one look at me, and I was like, I mean, I looked horrible, I had the flu, I obviously thought something was wrong with my throat, and I hadn't even showered, I'd just thrown on like sweatpants and a t-shirt, and he took one look at me, and he said, oh my god, Tegan and Sarah, I love your band. <laughs> but thankfully, all I wanted him to do was take my temperature and, and, and check my throat, so I didn't have to like, get undressed or anything like that. And, uh, <laughs> so he gave me a throat swab, and then, to, like talk to me for like a half an hour, which was pretty exciting. So it's a good, the good thing when you go to a doctor that knows who you are, you get extra time. So, um, so anyway, as it turns out, I had strep throat, which was so sad and horrible for me. Except not really, because I just laid on the couch and, um, and I watched TV for a week. But the thing that I wanted to tell you was that this doctor, he told me that this next song is his favorite song. And, um, and I find often when I'm shopping or going to the bathroom or having some sort of awkward conversation on phone when, when fans come up to me, this is often the song they tell me that they listened to when they got broken up with and that I helped them through their most terrible time. And um, so I want to dedicate this one to all of you tonight if you've ever suffered heartbreak. If you haven't, then fuck you. So. <laughs>